have learned nothing. Chaos is unknowable, unpredictable. It's time for chaos. Thank you WB for sending me a review copy of Mortal Kombat Chaos Reigns. With this DLC we get a story expansion, new fatalities, and a new set of fighters to play. Let's start with the story. I'll try not to be too spoiler heavy. The Chaos story starts not too long after the original story, with the Lin Kuei attacking Scorpion's wedding. Oh hell no, we are not doing the Red Wedding. And then this goes right into Havoc attacking Liu Kang's timeline, with his plan to kidnap Eri Garrus so he can control all timelines. So Liu sends a team to go rescue Garrus, and then the big showdown. At times the story feels slow, but at the same time it feels like they're just flying through this. Which I understand, it's a two hour story, but I did expect more with the new characters because honestly, Tanya stole the show. Whereas I feel Cyrax and Septor took a major step back in the story when it felt like it was supposed to be their story. But all in all, the fight scenes was great and the story was okay. Had a good beginning, good middle, could have did better with the ending. Now let's talk about Amality. We haven't seen this since Mortal Kombat 3. And man, did they come back with a bang. They definitely stuck their foot into this because they put a lot of effort into some of these and I love them. On screen, you will see a few of my personal favorites. And it's nice to see the return of this fatality. Just like how the last game did friendships. And last but not least, the new fighters. For now, we get Noob, Cyrax, and Sector, which all come with really great unique gameplay style. I've always been a fan of Cyrax in the bomb setups. The Sector is a great zoner with also still good combos, but not compared to Noob. His combos are freaking crazy. That man can just beat your ass forever. And for post launch, we get three guest characters. They're not here yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll get them soon. I've been enjoying myself with this DLC. Cyrax has always been one of my favorite characters, so I'm glad that they're back in the game so I get to play them again. I know Noob is a fan favorite, so a lot of people are happy about that, with Sector also being a good addition. I mean, why have Sector and Cyrax without each other? Ketchup no mustard? And I'm definitely curious about Ghostface Killer and T-1000. Cannot wait to try those two characters. All in all, this is a great expansion. If you like the original story, you're gonna like this one. The new characters are really fun to play, and I love seeing the new fatalities. So I have to say, this is a buy. This does cost a little bit more than the usual fighting season pass, but it also comes with more characters than usual ones and with a new expansive story. So I say it's worth the price. So again, thank you WB for the review copy. I'm about to go spread some chaos. It's been your homie Slick. See ya.